This is Nine News with Sylvia Jeffries. Good morning. Indonesia's Justice Minister, who has the power to sign off on Chappelle Corby's parole, is expected to make an announcement on the drug smuggler's future today. Nine's Michael Best joins us live from outside Karabakan Prison in Bali. Michael, good morning to you. What is expected to play out today? And we wish them all the best of luck. Let's get a quick check of the weather across the country now. Brisbane can expect some showers. Sunshine for Sydney and Canberra. Blue skies and 36 degrees in Melbourne. Rain ahead for Hobart. A hot 35 degrees in Adelaide. Sunshine for Perth and the chance of a storm in Darwin. Plenty more to come in Nine's morning news hour, including NRL legend Mal Meninga offers to house his criminal brother should he be released from prison. New York pays special tribute to late actor Philip Seymour Hoffman. And the Pope's Harley goes under the hammer. Find out how much it went for next. Welcome back. You're watching Nine's Morning News Hour. If you've just joined us, these are our top stories. Indonesia's Justice Minister is preparing to hold a media conference this afternoon where he's expected to announce whether Chappelle Corby has been granted parole. Melbourne police are offering a $100,000 reward to help find the person responsible for the brutal bashing of bookstore owner Jill Brooks. And cricket, trade and welfare benefits are on the agenda as Prime Minister Tony Abbott meets with his New Zealand counterpart John Key for official talks in Sydney. Stay with us, all the sport is next, including one of the AFL's biggest names ruled out for up to two months. Plus, our Aussies turn on each other in South Africa. Turning to AFL now, and a huge injury blow for Carlton, with star Chris Judd set to miss the start of the season. Nine's Anton Woolley is in Melbourne. Anton, what has he done? Erin Molan reporting from Bathurst. Still ahead on Nine's Morning News Hour, all the finance and the latest weather. To the weather details now, beginning with the satellite, a monsoon low is producing heavy rain and thunderstorms in the tropics. A trough in the south is directing heat into Victoria and New South Wales. While more low pressure is filtering hot air into WA and South Australia, causing a few thundery showers. To finance, and the share market has begun the day higher. The All Lords up 27 points. And in currency, one Aussie dollar is buying 89 US cents, 54 British pence. And that's Nine's Morning News Hour. Amber Sherlock will be here at 3 p.m. with Nine News Now. I'll be back with the afternoon news just after 4 o'clock. I'm Sylvia Jeffries. Thanks for your company. Bye for now.